I'm going to show you today how to build a test within its learning. So whether you're in the planner or the tree, you need to click on the add button and if this is an activity. So click on test. There are two tabs here that we need to go through. So the first one will be uh, the test title. You need, you need to title it. You can add some another subtitle in this introduction, or you can even add video or pictures or whatever else you want through the insert option. Um, you can set deadlines, uh, set mastery, set learning objectives, but you also need to make sure that you set an assessment. Otherwise, it will not score it on its own. And you can make it mandatory, keep it inactive uh, until you're done editing it. Then I'm going to scroll back up and click on options. So there's several test options here. Uh, if you do the scoring without penalty, then that basically means if they miss a question, they won't get negative points. But the with penalty will give you negative points. Uh, and you can set percentage required to be considered completed. Completed. You can set them in random order. I like to show them on one page. So you can print it off easily uh, and it'll make sure all the students see every question and don't skip any. You can set the attempts um, and then just some of the feedback. So if they have multiple attempts, then you can see it at the end um, and see kind of, they can see how they did. So after you're done with the test information and options, you can click save. So we have this test set up and you can see it's in the tree. It's italicized because it's inactive and we are going to add questions. So there are multiple types of questions here. The either or option uh, will allow you to insert a question with a yes or no response. So you can type in your question um, and then yes or no, you can change that. You can also insert video, audio, images. You can also do that within the question. You have to make sure you pick one that's correct. Uh, and then how many points it's worth. You can tie it to learning objectives and click save. And I'm going to add a different type of question. So you'll see it there. So now I'm going to add another question type and I can simply do that on this drop down and we'll do multiple choice. So type in your question again, but again, you can add video, audio, pictures, whatever you want within this text box. So I'll type in my question and then scroll down and then you get your alternative answers. So that will be one option. Um, and obviously this is more like a survey question, but you would have to have a correct answer here uh, if you're building a test. So for this one, you can add as many as you want by clicking the add alternative, but I'm going to click correct here and again, change the value if you want and click save. So that is the multiple choice. So let's say more than one of the options are correct on multiple choice. That is your multiple response option. So once again, you can type in the question here. Um, and then scroll down, same setup, alternative. So I can mark that one correct. I can mark this one correct and it will score it uh, if they have both of them marked or not. And then again, you can add as many as you want and save. So that's the multiple choice type. And then we move and do the short answer or open-ended. And I'm only gonna do it once on here because they, they work the same. The text box is just bigger in the essay. So, why do you like that? You can type in your question. Still has all of the insert options. Uh, this part I generally skip, um, but 
you can put something in there that is not your keywords. And then these are the keywords that it's looking for. So if you have one thing that you want it to look for, keyword, type it in keyword, and then you can put any um, type of alternative response followed by a comma here, including alternate spellings, everything else. Um, and then for, if you have another one, you can add it in another keyword and that'll count it as a separate point. So every time you add a keyword, it's going to add extra points. Um, so you can type in all the schools you want or whatever your option is. You can add as many keywords as you want. Uh, you can make it case sensitive if you want. Um, and then basically what it's going to do is automatically assessing is it'll grade it for you. Uh, or if you want it to do manual, then you can select that as well. And then the score value you can change if you want as well. And that is going to be your short answer or open-ended. Open-ended just has a larger text box. The select from a list and the uh, other types of questions, you can, the other short answer questions or fill in the blank, uh, I'll show you how to do that. This first one is not the question, this is just introductory text, which I generally skip. And then this is the, the field that you wanna put your question in, and I'll show you how to do that. So Columbus is in the state of Indiana. So if you want to create a blank, you highlight it and then create blank. And that will be the correct answer that it's looking for. But then um, you can add alternatives. So it's already knows that Indiana is the correct answer, but you can add alternatives. And then as many as you want. And then since this is the select from a list, it will be a pull down option for them when they answer the question. And you can add as many as you want. Um, it's automatically gonna assess it, score value of one. So that is how you're going to do it for select from a list or fill in the blank. And then you have some other ones. Match is going to be um, just matching. And then this is where your question is, although it's not gonna be Please match the following pairs. And then again, you can add images if you want, your choice and your match. And you can add as many as you want, and then that'll allow them to pair it. Uh, that same one works for order as well. So this could be put in correct order uh, historically. So which was first? And then you can add options here as well could be chronological events of some sort uh, or step-by-step -step procedure, but that will make them put them in order from, again, from oldest to youngest or youngest to oldest, you kind of set that uh, in order. And then you have hotspot. Uh, hotspot is a little different. So you type in your question, you're gonna upload an image, um, and then you are going to basically create a field around what you want clicked, and they have to select it. And that is how you build a test.